Hello, this is the Superb Cast Podcast today here. It's Jackson Volk and Caden Flanagan. Today we're going to be talking about the preseason match between the Prairie Panthers and the uh, Midwest Robin Hoods. And uh, cue the intro. Yeah, yeah. So hard to ghost, yet I'm ready to die. Not B.I.G., not limited to the sky. If oh, the ghost tries to label me as a prince, with a big bitch that's covered in China God is definitely oh, going to be on Plays of the Week. Yeah, we'll be good, we'll be good, we'll be good. All right, so... Today's a special day. We did the last podcast right last night. He wasn't here, but today he's gonna be here. So, is there just anything you want to say to greet these viewers? Uh, no, nothing really. I need to say. Okay. Um, so let's get started. Just uh, I wanna I wanna ask you about uh, how how was it with your team in that first preseason match against my team? Just like what happened with your team? Like, is there anything special? Um, nothing really special. Like. W- we were feeling good going into the game, but yes, as always in typical Robin Hood style, we just go down. Yeah, but yeah, we still we still tried our best, so that's all that matters really. Mm. Uh, so is there anything you want to say about like uh, like I saw one time there was a uh, like when Bennett hit his home run, uh, just like what what happened after that? Was there anything special that it just felt special even though you're losing or anything? Like that. Like, I mean, like, during, like, when he was hitting a home run, like, he was running the bases. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, our team went nuts, because we didn't think we were hitting a home run until Bennett moon shots it into the trees. So, yeah. Like, yeah we, all went, we all went nuts. I played the, um, uh, home run horn on our, um, uh, on my phone. Mm-hmm. And, yeah, we all went nuts. We, we gave him, before the game, we actually bought the, um, uh, what's it called? You know, like, where you have the, um, uh, little, like, it's like the stick with the pony head on it. Oh right? yeah, that's a, that's a, I said that in the garage sale. Yeah, it was for it's a for free garage sale. So like we got that and we used that for the home run. So yeah, it was just like it felt good when he had a home run. Mm-hmm. So uh, I just pulled up the game here, and we're just gonna look at is there anything special parts you wanna clip to and talk about? Uh, no. This intro. What about this intro right here? Oh, um, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I just wanna. I like to annoy Jax whenever I want, cause yeah, I'm not sure it's about funny. Right. And he just gets mad, so it's funny. Yeah, I was talking yeah. about my team, and then he he starts. What was it? You were just started pretending like my team was stinky. Yeah. So I shoved you on the ground, and then you were just getting mad. That was pretty funny. Yeah. Uh, that intro took like four takes. Like he kept, I don't know what he was talking about. He just kept talking away, and we kept having to, we kept having to redo it. I don't know what was going on. We f- I finally clipped out your part where you just kept talking away to your players, so I clipped that out. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the first inning was pretty quick. Like, I could tell. Like, uh, your team had really good pitching in the first game. Can you can you elaborate on that? Yeah, we had good pitching. Like all of our pitchers, like they practice on the off season. Like I gave Cruz Seaboard my um my wolf ball, let, let him borrow it to pitch. So. Hopefully, um, today when he comes to a practice, which is right after this podcast, let's see if he um his practice pays off. Mm-hmm. But yeah, overall, first game, even though we got pumped eight nothing, it was still just good. Mm-hmm. Like, bet we did better than we expected. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, we did. I think uh, it was um uh Bennett pitching that game. Or no, no, it was Everett. Yeah, Everett. Um, do you have anything to say on your team pitting in the first game? Uh, well, <laughs> that's what we can improve on. Mm-hmm. I think. Took some time getting back to hitting. Mm-hmm. I thought personally, I thought we need to work on our fielding, but then when I watched the highlights, we need to work on our hitting. One thing my team needs to work on is uh, fielding because there was a couple times where you guys would just hit pop up, and they would just drop it like they wouldn't um, <clears throat> get it. The home run ball is very prone to our team in that series. Um, not as prone as the rebels in their series. Did you watch that? Uh no I didn't watch it because I couldn't stand seeing um Everett and uh or Bennett and the uh, Everett and Bennett I'm not sure I Both believe it was the different teams yeah different teams and just hitting moon shots oh well you should but, still watch I it. know I, I know I'm still happy for them that was pretty fun that that game was it was long though the first one was like fifty minutes or something like that it was unbearable but uh see on this podcast today we're just gonna we're just gonna talk about this first game and he's gonna talk about his team what he thinks his team can do then we're gonna go through some predictions that we have for this upcoming season then we're gonna end it off by talking about some funny stories and then hopefully just finish some things by um 
talking about the season opener. Let's talk about that for just a quick, and then we can finish that later. But when's that happening? Uh, I believe tomorrow if I can plan out. But also, who's hosting Jackson? Because I, I hear like I'm hosting Rebels. You're uh, hosting Re- that one. Oh. <laughs> um, I'm gonna say it's that long because I don't really care. The Rebel field just sucks in general. Like you have, you have to climb under a fence to get in, or if you don't want to, you have to take a long way around an alleyway. So overall, it's just mm. a long time. But for like my team's new mm. field, which think they want to call it the the Robin's Nest, which I'm Robin's not sure what it's called. Oh, between Robin's Nest and Rollo Grounds. Okay, Rollo Grounds. That's Cause, great. Cause um uh, cause the field like we, the fence like the fence is on a weird angle. So we're in the um uh, far like the right foul pole area at Blackwell. Mm-hmm. And yeah, it's like on a weird angle, kind of. So like the base is a baseline, super weird. See if I can pull that up a photo. Because there's a photo on your TikTok there. Uh, no. Yes. I'm not sure. Maybe. I don't. I don't remember posting the photo on my um. Uh... Yeah, you put a training thing. Okay, let's. Get oh back. yeah. Yeah. Um. Oh, right, fun fact about that: a fan actually took all those pictures. Yeah. It's kind of weird. What's up with this field? Can you talk about that field for a second? What is this? Um, I'll see so if I can put a photo up on the yeah. on the podcast. Yeah. But is there anything you gotta say about that? Like, what's going on in this photo? So um uh, so we're doing a drill where you, where you like the person batting. We're using the T for this, so like mm-hmm. we can control our hits. Mm-hmm. Um uh, it's like you know a drill where it's like you someone's batting, you say like like. First base, and you have to throw out the first base, mm-hmm. so like, don't play. Mm-hmm. That's what we were kind of doing. Yeah, but the guy hits it? Yeah, the oh, guy yeah. hits it, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, so what's what's this field? What's going on with the field? Uh, so, where is it? What's happening uh, here? It's at the Blackwell Diamond, right by 7-Eleven, if you live in the... Can I say uh, Midtown? No. Oh, just curious. Well, I mean, if you search a Blackwell Diamond, you'll clearly yeah, see. Yeah, probably. Yeah. It's... Um, but, it's... like, what? where is this in the field? Uh... Right foul pole area, because you can see the foul pole mm. in the picture you pulled up. Okay. Um, what I like about our field, it's easy like to get to. Like you can our like you can walk to the field if you want, but since the building is a water park right by there, there's a little like path. Construction isn't there. Path, yeah, it's like a path. There's a dirt path, That's good so you know. can just bike there, and we mm-hmm. park our um, bikes behind the field, and you can just, if you don't want to hop the fence, just open the gate, because mm-hmm. the gate's always just unlocked. So. I think I mentioned this in the first podcast, but there was, like, construction workers in the infield. Are they still there? Um, I think they were there for a bit, but the, because they're building a shed, but mm-hmm. I think that's done. Um, they, in our game, I don't know if any of you guys have noticed this, but I was talking about this in the last podcast. They were, uh, they were, like, watching us, and they were, like, they clapped when Rylan hit his grand slam. They were, like, standing there clapping. I don't know if uh, you guys noticed that. No, we didn't. I, I thought that was pretty funny. I was laughing pretty hard. Um, is there anything else on that? Uh no, okay. no nothing really to say. Um, it's cold. Oh, the no. glazer is pretty. Thank um, you, thank you, appreciate yeah, it. Yep. Uh, what are you doing here? Is that um picking up a yeah, ground ball? Ground ball, yeah. Was that a real play or is that just set up? Uh, now it's a real play. Yeah. Okay, it's pretty cool. Yeah. There's, there's, he took like a solid ninety photos. So I. Jeez. Yeah, he is pretty good. Why scrolling down? Anyway, um, so yeah, um, um, the, uh, so, could you just explain who on your team and whatnot is gonna be, um, like, what's, can you just explain the future of your team this year? Sorry, what? Can you explain the future of your team this year, please? Oh, uh, I do say, I do think we're gonna do better than, um, uh, last season. Mm-hmm. Like we got we got new players. We dropped them. Um, uh, we sent um Jackson Trestle away to the um uh Wahoos to, to the Wahoos. Yeah, which mm-hmm. I don't think I don't think he's played a game yet. He hasn't. No, I don't think so. Yeah, their entire team didn't show up to their game. The only player on their team was Jace Ward. Um, we got we got the Midwest Robin Hood Championship poster up there. We got a bunch of PHSWL logos just on the ground down there. Like we got like yeah, suburb cast the, logos everywhere. Like we ripped up uh Rebels one. Rebels logo. We don't like the Rebels. Oh, well, he doesn't like the Rebels. Especially I don't mind the Rebels. I still ripped it up though. It was fun. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, we could have done that to any logo, but yeah. Um, 
So you got anything? What's the future of your team this year? Just can you elaborate on all your players? Uh, so Everett and Bennett Dunlop are gonna be super pretty good this year, especially Bennett. He, I think he'll be super good this year. Mm-hmm. And um, uh, Ethan, he, I think Ethan's gonna do pretty good this year. You see, Sorkin, well, Sorkin is hitting. That's really it. Mm-hmm. And um, Crew, Crew Seaborg, I can't really forget about him because it was a long time ago. He didn't really show up to any games. But I still think he'll be pretty good. Mm-hmm. Keegan, I th- I do think he'll probably. I don't think he'll be decent this year. I think he'll still be good, but I think he'll be decent. So if I could pull it up, um, Bennett Dunlap had one home run in twenty twenty two. Um, with no. five games played, and he had a strikeout percentage of sixty five percent. Um, I love that zero you got in your name yeah. there. No home runs. I had one that year. Um, I wonder if I can find Everett. Everett had two home runs in 2022. I don't know why I'm talking about this. I just pulled up the full stats of PJ Tadell. But, uh, yeah, so, uh, here's, I've got all the, all the games, everything in here. I still need to update this one day, but, uh, didn't even enter the Rebel stats. I didn't feel like it. Um, so yeah, that's like what we got on there. So, Bennett, I feel like he definitely did better last year than he did in his first year. Like, he, uh, maybe it was just he's with his friends, you think? Because he was, um, he had one home run, and he just wasn't really much of a noticeable player that year until he went to the Robin Hoods, and he showed up with, what, three home runs? Uh, yeah, it was three, because he had two, two against the Rebels, and one against the Rebels in Toronto. Oh, yeah. yeah which, unfortunately, I was not, I was not on camera. Mm-hmm. Which yeah, just, the camera shut down. That was yeah. pretty funny. Just to sum it up, he um, I think not sure what pitch it was. I forget who was pitching. Someone was like third. Uh, he hits it. Goes like a little bit left, like dead center, but a little bit left, and like just makes it over. Mm-hmm. But well, one thing I do want to point out, I think you told me this before, like about mm-hmm. the league fences. Like apparently they're um way bigger. Oh my god! Yeah, the fences at uh at the hot dog stand, which was the old one of the. Of like the Kingsbury Hot Dog Club. Kingsbury Hot Dog Club. They um their fences were like very, very far back. Like oh, yeah. and like it was Graydon barely got his out. He just I guess he had the he had the duct tape that, didn't he? So oh, yeah, that helped so. that helped him push it out farther. But um still like in you can tell like that fence was way farther than any fence we have now in our league. Yeah. So that definitely played a part in the score of that finals game. Um, as we know, Kale Phillips, um, Maddox Montgomery can go yard when they want to, yeah. but they just, um, fence is really far back last year. Um, so is there anything you want to say? Uh-oh. Uh, no idea what's happening. Just Jackson. Oh, all good. Uh-oh. Well, we're good, we're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. We can deal with that later. We can deal with that later. Just some fans. Yeah, fans spamming <laughs> Jackson's phone. Oh no. Well, I think Jackson you go, should go in the air room and sort this um uh, uh, yeah. yeah, I'm gonna do that. Tragedy out. And right uh back. what should I talk about? Uh team names. Uh it's my team going in series. Mostly the same roster, but we have um Connor Livingston, which uh he joined the league, asked me to be on a team, so I let him on. Uh, we got, um, uh, Gwen Roberts. Fun fact, he never answers his phone. No idea why, so he didn't show up to his facts yet, I swear. But he sounds pretty good. He was on, um, Everett's, um, uh, team. His baseball team. Yeah, and, uh, any... I think I'm forgetting another player. Oh, uh, we did pick up Hunter as an AP. Because, um, apparently the, um, uh, Wahoos wouldn't let, um... Let him um play for his team. Yeah, I guess they really w- didn't want him, so we picked him up. And yeah, that's really all I would say. Uh, Jackson, no idea. What he, you want? I guess he solved this um early it's like not crisis. Out. They just left me undelivered, so uh, I'll just go back to. He's going through his um early life crisis right now. If you guys know. <laughs> yeah. Um. Can't talk about that. Uh, this is a wiffle ball podcast. Oh my bad. My bad. Uh, <laughs> Uh, it's good. So, yeah, the first game was 8 nothing. 
in the preseason series against us. So, um, how do you think your team did that game? Uh, a lot, a lot of work on improvement. Yeah, because our our batting was not good. Yeah. So here we're gonna start game two here. So um, oh, you're up to bat. Oh, you got walked. Of course, you got walked. Yeah, you I get know, walked I, every at bat of the game. Except for one like one. I think there's one. I think it's Van. Van goes crazy. He's insane. I got. I gotta say, Van is a very good pitcher. Can't make the peg though. Can't make yeah, the peg. Can't make the peg. Ever ever hit a grounder right to right to Van. And he uh, he tried pegging him and he missed him and he got a double. Oh, here we go! Boom! Yeah, I think in. Uh, oh, he struck out that time. Final score was six two, right? Yeah. So, how do you think your team did that game? Good. I I do think we did good, like way better in the first game. I think you uh, I think you missed the home run. I gotta. I want to watch um uh, that's home run because oh, I got something to yeah. say. Like oh, I'm not yeah. seeing um. Like by anything, but I can say his swing is by far the best in the league. It's so smooth, and somehow he goes yard every yeah, single time. I did talk about that last time. His swing is so nice. Like, oh, there it is. Yeah. Like, there we go. Just like look at this. He's just playing with the bat before he yeah. hits too. Boom. He's clean and then bat, bat for first bat throw. Not sure. The glazing yeah. is crazy. Thank you. Uh, I was gonna say something else, but I forgot. Mm. Yeah, I forgot. So you can continue. All right, so that's game two. Game three, it was seven yeah. two final score. Yeah. So uh, you got anything to say about that game? Uh, third game. Yeah. Uh, no, I don't really remember much of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. After the game, it was tough because we fought. We wanted to win at least one. We got the bench warmers over here. All high schoolers playing against a bunch of minors, <laughs> except for one. Which honestly is kind of funny. I don't care. It's Who's funny. Who's the one? Me. Oh, yeah, you're right. But still, like I can, like I can really do anything. Okay, yeah. So that's the preseason series. So that was pretty fun. We should um, um talk. We should talk about um the um uh, Warriors and Rebels. Yeah. No, nah, I'm good. Actually, yeah, because it's not gonna happen. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I, I. So here's what I want to talk about. This is gonna be a really fun segment. I'm gonna do. That we're gonna do every podcast, everyone you come over for, is predictions. Oh. Yeah. So it'll update every time. So now that we've had a bit, a little bit of a look into the preseason, let's start preseason segment by what do you think the standings are gonna be by? I don't know, maybe two games in, two series in. Two games so in. So six games. Uh, well, I don't really know who's playing each other. So if you could pull up like the season roster. Let's see if we can find the. Well, who's playing who? Oh, so, so, uh, it would be Robin Hoods versus Pan. Oh, that's preseason. My bad. Opening day: Robin Hoods versus Rebels, Blue Wahoos versus Panthers, then Panthers versus Robin Hoods, and Rebels versus Blue Wahoos. So, what do you think the standings would be? Um. So, I to be honest, um, I think me and the Wahoos would be tied for. Third? Um, Preferred, yeah. Because mm -hmm. I don't really think they kind of got lucky last. They got lucky because mm -hmm. they had Burke in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. But I just don't think they're gonna be good this year. Because if you watch like their um, which it's my fault, but um uh, there's there's a game that we didn't post for highlights. It was um uh, Wa mm -hmm. I think it was um Wahoo's Rebels. The Wahoo's got pumped like one. I think it was like twenty four to four. Mm. I don't know who that. Oh, there's there's one stuff. clip still out there. It's um uh, I think it's um uh, what's it called? Um, Maddox hitting his first home run. Oh yeah, I have that one. You sent yeah. that one to me. He actually wanted it. Mm -hmm. yeah, Cause I I just don't think they're gonna be good. Mm. Cause like if okay. you can tell about them um uh like first game versus us, mm -hmm. um we're up in the start, like halftime. If there's no halftime, I'm saying my team would have won if there's no half. Because during the halftime, they went, all went to seven. They probably got their stuff together. I could have said something else, but it's family friendly here, I guess. So, um, but yeah, it's. I, I just don't think since like there's like three game series now, mm -hmm. I think it'll be like a five minute break between one game. I just don't really think they're gonna be good. Mm -hmm. Like who knows? Like prove me wrong. But so what do you think their their record and your record are gonna be? Um, well, I'm like. 
records. I think my team will at least win like maybe three or four games this year. That's what I hope for. Mm. Like I like my team's probably gonna. I hope my team wins a game. Back okay, so, um, so what do you think their records are going to be? So, um, six games. Six games in total? Like, oh, six games. For, like, the first two series, then. Oh, uh, well, my team, are kind of, it's kind of tough because it's playing the Rebels and the Panthers in the mm-hmm. season. So, that'll be tough. I don't really want to say my teams because I don't want to, like, jinx it or whatever. Just in case, like, the... I'm going to say one in five. I'm going to say my team loses to them. I, I don't want them to, but... I kind of feel like they deserve one. So. Yeah, our team needs a win. We just got to get our stuff together. together. Like, good thing is that we're um, getting... Uh, Evan Men's basement's going to be our clubhouse because they actually have a good setup down there. So it's like um, uh, three couches, so like one here, here, and a chair here. Mm-hmm. And there's a massive TV and a massive... Um, uh, you're going to watch, watch clips? You're going to yeah. watch film? Yeah, well... You we'll, actually... We'll, <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll probably go, I, that's why I did it for the playoffs. Went uh, there and watched. No, the they film. they went they went to my cramped up room, and, and you watched the video. We we watched. I I show I actually showed them the the twenty twenty two finals. Oh yeah. Because um I just wanted to show them how like great like Graydon's home run, uh-huh. like he can hit it like anywhere, like uh-huh. anywhere, like up high between the legs he will he will hit it. So that's just really tough. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I hate my voice in this video, man. My voice is so high pitched. It's like a little girl. Yeah, like that's one thing I was looking through a while ago was um, I was listening to uh, I used to do like uh, that's also one thing I wanted this mic for to bring this back. You know, how I used to do overviews of each game. Yeah. Um, I was going through them in my first one compared to my last one, and wow, like, even my face, like, Holy. like, I sound, I, had a glow up. I sound like this when I'm talking in this one, and then there's one, I mean, this, like- this, this, there's still, and then there's this one, like, I'm like, oh my god, it's the blue one who's there playing the hot dog, and then, like, the, like, the podcast, I sound like, a, well, you can't even hear it, because it's so quiet. I'm not really sure why it's kind of like the yell in your camera. Yeah, but um, I'll turn I'll turn it up in the in the oh, yeah, software. Oh yeah, do that if you want. But uh, yeah. Anyway, uh, what are your blue wahoos? Uh, um, blue wahoos. I who are they playing? Um, Panthers Rebels. I believe. Mm, so I don't think they're playing me. Panthers Rebels. Yeah. Yeah. I don't think they. I they might slip out a win against the Panthers maybe, but I highly doubt it. Yeah, so they're like the most. Record? My opinion, they're most like mid team, most most unlucky team as well. I mean, the first yeah. the first season they got lucky because the um, hot dogs pulled out of season, so they just got on next spot in the finals. Mm-hmm. That was that was like prime Rob Hill time, really like Burke and Graydon, Jax, mm-hmm. Jackson, Jackson, yeah. and me. So what are your what are your predictions for uh for Blue Wahoos? Um, my guess. Um, I guess like, at least like maybe like one game like. Six games, right? Mm-hmm. One and five, my guess. One and five. Wow. So what do you think your record's gonna be? Uh, one and five as well. One and five. Uh, so we think who's gonna get that win on each each team? So what do you think uh, they're gonna pop a win out? Uh, hmm. I'm not sure. Just yeah, I'm not really sure who'll pop a win out against because you can pop one against both teams. Mm-hmm. So uh, so what are your uh? Your other two, like for who do you think is gonna be first and second, and who do you think that what do you think is gonna go on with the Rebels and Panthers? Um, well, it'll be it'll be a tight battle between those two. Those games, those games, Rebels and Panthers will be intense. Mm-hmm. Also with the um, Robin Hoods and Wahoos as well, the oldest rivalry in the league. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, also Robin Hoods and um, uh, what are they called? Uh, Rebels mm-hmm. or Blazers, should I call them? Um, they, you know, those would be tough games since there was, like, massive line brawl, oh, too, yeah. um, in the, um, other game, so, so who knows if that happens again, because video, Jack sent me a video from, 
you just talking the bird quick walking the base and started attacking me. <laughs> yeah, that was pretty funny. So by that and my team, I think it'll be something. He actually jerseyed me because I didn't expect it. He's like, yeah, he jerseyed Keegan yesterday at practice. He jerseyed me for no reason because I was just kind of standing there minding my own business, and then he just jerseyed me when I wasn't really paying attention. Um. Yeah. So for my predictions are, I think. I'm sorry. I think you guys are gonna be in last place again. I think you guys are gonna go one and five. Um, I think you might crack a win out of us, but it'll be close. Like I don't think I don't think there's a chance you guys. Can... I think we might crack a win out of the um uh, of the rebels. To be honest, I don't think there's a way you guys can. Like I don't think I honestly can't figure out a way I can think of you guys blowing us out. Yeah, I know. Not but like, I feel like it could be close. Like it could be um. But uh, and then I think probably Wahoos. I think they might go three and five. No, no, no. Cause they're gonna pop the wins up out again. Uh, cause, cause from um, probably uh, us. Oh, probably you. Three and two, maybe. If if you guys play how you guys did against us, they're not gonna. No, like I, maybe like, it'll if be you guys like... fueled like us for better, like in that in that preseason game, you guys will just destroy them. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know where to rule it, but I would. I could. I could count. I don't know where to put them in each spot, but I know where to put like what I think they're gonna get. I think you guys will go one and five. I'm. I'm. I'm gonna change that. I think they might go two and four. Might win two against oh, us yeah, and we'll yeah, win yeah. one, and then we will go. Um, three and two, maybe probably beat up you guys. I'm guessing. Yeah. <laughs> um, or no, it'd be. Three and three, cause six games. Three and three, cause you guys will beat us. Um, well, I think. I think. Well, I think. Well, I don't want to say, but I think it'll be a possibility. Cause my and your teams just like the age gap is massive. Right so yeah. Well, like with Bennett, he's ten still, surprisingly. And who's the oldest on your team? Like. So you're turning fifteen. You're thirteen still, right? Sh- might be turning fifteen. Um, like no, years. it's 14. Oh, yeah. So like, almost a four year difference. Yeah, we're all Maybe. grade nines, and there's Jacob Warren. He's yeah. he's still in still in elementary. Um, and then I think Rebels, obviously, might go 6 0. Sorry to say it, but it's might not like. Oh, is he eating the Rebels logo? No, he's no. eating the podcast logo. Never mind. Our cats. Oh, that's the logo. oh no, cats eating the rebels logo. In the nose. Yay. Yeah, <laughs> no. Um. Nope, that was loud. That was weird. Um. Oh yeah, I want to talk like. Yep. But like, this is the team's like branding in general. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, a rank, we should do a ranking. You want to rank the? Uh, I want to be honest. Mine um, last rebels. For mm. sure, they have not. Like, if you go to their take to their TikTok account, it just think. Came for some like basketball player. Yeah, it's not even an account anymore because Ryder. Oh, jeez. Ryder man. made it. Ryder made it. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah. Ryder retired by the way. Yeah, he's gonna play for my team. Oh. Oh yeah. He's yeah, doing. Yeah, there it is. It's called Blazers <laughs> Wiffle Ball. Who even is? Who is that player? I don't know. Like, I mean, well, Andy. Lamelo Ball. Lamelo Ball. Yeah. John Morant. <laughs> no, it's not John Morant. No, it's not John Morant. Um, then third on the, what? Third Wahoos. Third. Their TikTok accounts, I'm not really sure. That's where most people do their branding. Uh, second, I'm gonna go. That's um, oh, a real that's, baseball that's team. That's Pensacola. Yeah, yeah. That's Pensacola. Um, sec- right, second, are. I'm actually gonna go with you guys. Yeah, I'm gonna go with you guys. Like, you guys have good branding. You guys have amazing posters. It's just so much. I feel like mine's better. Mine, mine is better. Wait, who is this? Not sure. Bro, there can only be one PP Nation. I'm serious yeah. right now. I'm angry now. But, um... So, do you guys really think you're gonna be first? In what? Not seeing Branding. Me. Branding, yeah. Things to do with branding. Hmm. Like this video? Yeah. <laughs> Playing the Grizz Bums in the Roblox Cup. I'm like... Well, that never happened. If you do think about it, though, um, the Rob- the Robin Hoods are Grizzlies at the time. <laughs> the Ghost and the Bulls, not really. 
<laughs> you were all beeping about that. Yeah. Okay. Um. So what do you guys? What do you think your team's gonna be? Uh. Why do you guys think your team's number one in Brandon? Uh, we post like we post a lot. And I'm not really sure. I like I might we the best home and home in the league, in my opinion. And there's Maybe. Jackson. I think so. Like I I I don't like the um Rebels one. Wahoos have the worst. No Rebels team. Wahoos have the worst. There's there's just twenty nine seconds. Wait, wait, what song is it? It's. Song two or oh, something. Yeah. I'll play it in the mic. Yeah, just keep talking. Yeah. Um. Well, if I change your swell, I just want to speed down the camera, Jackson. Police are coming to get you. Not all the film in the county. Um, the county yeah, I I do think theirs is the worst in my opinion. Yeah. Well, I didn't. If then, who's second? Uh, you didn't hear anything there. Uh, no, you can't. They can't hear. It's too quiet. Oh, uh, um. Yeah. Well, well. So, what? What is your bank? Uh, ho home and horns. I'm gonna go Wahoos. I'm gonna go Wahoos. Then Rebels. Then Panthers. Then Robin Hoods. Let's just hear this amazing horn. It's gonna be so loud, isn't it? Oh, I, I don't even know what horns I missed. I'm so proud of these little graphic things I made. Yeah, yeah I even did it too. <laughs> I loved it. Yeah. You see, I even got, there's a photo in the background too, did you notice that? Uh, uh which one? No, I don't know. It's just a TV one. photo. Uh, oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, that's the best, and the worst is no doubt. Did you even make those? Yeah, but it's terrible. Hey, uh, hey, at least you're not using fishing in the dark. Oh, good God, that was traumatizing. Yeah, I know. Let's put that in the mic. No, we don't need make, to put that. Make the... What? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. Probably in the... Oh, here it is. I like their... I, I wish they still used this horn. Like, the That's, actual horn. What, what team is that? San Jose. Oh, I also... Thought, I think we should get... I think we should um, hurry up the podcast, because my game's back. Mm-hmm. Here. Just got a couple teams. You keep talking. I'm going to check out my team. Yeah. Yeah, so that's the blue wahoos. Um, so now I'm back on the pod alone. We're just gonna finish a couple things here before we get back to before we get back to uh, Caden here. So I just want to talk about um. So yeah, we did a couple rankings and stuff. So here's what I wanted to talk about was um, like I noticed in the uh. I don't even know what I'm talking about, I'm going to be honest. This is terrible. I'm really sorry. Um, but I, I do think the Blue Wahoos, their horns have been digressing almost over the over the past of time. It's getting worse. Because it started with Snoop Dogg. I think I made that one. Aiden says that he made it, but I actually made the horn. I I I, I chose. Oh no! All good. No, I bought that after the horn app. We just about lost the mic here. This could have been bad, but uh. So yeah, and um, and then it went from Snoop Dogg to uh. Uh, what was it? Fishing in the Dark, which I used for the finals of 2022, and then carried on into 2023, and then they used it, and then they switched it to that atrocious one I played earlier, um, which I've stuck with for a little while, but it's not bad, it's just the other ones are better. I, I don't particularly like the Rebels one, but um, I can live with it. You just hear it so much, you get annoyed of it. Um... But yeah, that's enough I have for horns. Are oh, you back? Uh, whoa, whoa, sorry. I was, I was gonna say something about this. Go ahead. Why? Oh, I was gonna say, fun. 
no one's really even used the horns during games besides my team. Rebels used to. They did in one game and they kept blasting it. When you could hear sometimes when I when I put the horn in the video, you could hear their horn in the background. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what's annoying. Cause one my team had a horn and me on mine. <laughs> Sorry, uh, cat. Cat's going crazy. Um, right, like during on the semifinals, my me and um uh, like what team is it? Rebels, Blazers, I'm a Blazers. Blazers. Um, like you could hear my horn because the camera is right behind. The camera's right in front of the um uh the speaker. Or right, my my team is does have a new speaker. It's a um uh it's on, it's like a boombox kind of. Mm. Which is it's actually cool. Say it's on its phone. It's like a charging port. Mm -hmm. So you can like listen. So like you can um pl plug your phone in and still play music. Mm. Oh. Anyway. Oh, there goes cat. Cat scribbled something. Um, okay. Well, we we're supposed to talk about something else, I believe. Right yes, now? this is last thing. Oh, yeah, funny stuff. Whatever. One. See, there's one story I'm going to talk about, because I don't trust you talking about this, because you might reveal a bit too much about what oh. actually happened. Oh, okay, go ahead. So this was Bennett Dunlop. This was so oh. funny. This one is in the, um, this one was in the... Oh, I, I, I want to talk about this. No, I don't want to trust you and reveal a bit too much information. Oh, yeah. So I'm going to try and keep this one kid-friendly, because this one was a bit, um, you know, can't say a lot of things about what happened on here. He didn't do nothing wrong. He didn't, he didn't do anything wrong. So, um, it was in the game between the Robinads and the, uh, and the Blue Wahoos. It was their second game of the 2023 spring season. And I guess there was, like, a bunch of people from, like, St. Michael's that were at the game, because they were, uh, because it was, like, a day off for us, right? Day off for us. Day off for us and the Christian schools in our town. Oh, that might have been, might have been our last day. Uh, of school. Yeah, because that was in April. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I think about the finals. Um. So they still had they still had school. Um. And they uh. What ended up happening was they came for lunch because the game was around twelve, right? So they they went on lunch period and they came over to our game, and there was this one dude. Um. Who was there, and this one kid, the like Kale, he kept talking about these racist things there, and I guess there was, he accused someone of saying something racist, and this kid looked at Bennett and sort of attacked. <laughs> he started attacking Bennett, like for no reason. He just started attacking him. Oi, oh, I like not Bennett, not Bennett. Oi, oi, this just means everything's like intro to like your homework, and you gotta say things. Like everything's like intros, or at least say mine. So I have a, so I have a good idea and plan for mine. I wanted to put that on the camera. That was so funny. Oh, there it is. Hold up. I gotta get the camera. Oh. I wanna see if we actually see it. Let's see if it's even recording. So for you. Yeah, it's still recording. <laughs> <laughs> Not Bennett. Not Bennett. Not, Not Bennett. Bennett. Oh. That was so funny. Banks, Banks still dramatized from that day. Probably. We should ask him about that at practice. Yeah. Um, um, do you have any funny stories that you can remember from the season? Um, uh, no. Not really. No. You sure? Well, I mean, it's one in playoffs. It's not really funny, but in my opinion, it is. Jack and Pretzel? Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I already talked about, talk about that one last time. Yeah. That was pretty funny. Next, so many, there's so many line brawls that game. I'm trying to get the cat out of here. <laughs> That's fine. She can chill there. Um, oh, the line brawls, Mitchell, okay. Mitchell and Keegan. Mitchell and Keegan? No, one day, remember? And the Grizzlies were. Oh yeah. The, oh, that was funny, man. We need to talk about that one. I don't remember that. You don't? Okay, I'll talk about it then. Um, so it was eighth oh, game yeah. of the season. It's right here. Yes, there it is. Um, it was game seven actually. Um, it was between the North Hill Grizzlies and the Prairie Panthers, and um. I guess Keegan, Keegan was in Mitchell's way when he was running the first base, and then Keegan Mitchell got mad because he didn't get to first base, and then Keegan shoved him, and they just started they just started fighting like tackling each other on the ground. They were just like, of course they're playing around. No, don't get us banned. It's all jokes. It was all fake. They were they were just playing around, um, but they 
He had, like, Jersey Keegan. Oh, that was hilarious. They were just fighting. I was just standing there recording. That was so fun. Um, Keegan, uh, Caden did, um, sorry, Mitchell did that, like, ten times that day, and he just kept fighting Keegan for no reason. Like, Keegan and, Keegan and Mitchell were just beefing that day. It was hilarious. Yeah. Um, so what was your thing? Um, oh, yeah, but, um, Jackson. Um, yeah, there was a bunch of brawls that day. Like, one, I think someone got, one of my players got body checked. Mm. Never got body checked on third base. And never third base, fighting. so I, I like when my team get out the dugout. Then, another time on third base, I think Graydon slid, his hat flew off, so I absolutely punted it. <laughs> I, yeah, and he got, he got, he actually got pretty mad, so I actually thought he was gonna, like, start throwing hands. What's he gonna do to you? I know, exactly. You beat him. Um, any more stories? No, I think that's it. That might just wrap up our show. Alright, so that's wrap up. So this week, we've got home runs from Bennett Dunlop, Everett Dunlop, Graydon Mowry, Burke Bouchard. Van Gosser, Mitchell Charters, and Ryland Taylor. Uh, so that ends the podcast. Instagram is PHS Wiffleball. TikTok is PHS Wiffleball. PHSWL on YouTube. Our Twitch is PHSWL, which we don't use very often, but still. And uh, you can also go follow Midwest Robin Hoods on TikTok and PP Nation and official Blue Wahoos. Uh, here's the outro. Uh, everyone have a good day. Um, we'll see you at the next game. We'll have another podcast, hopefully this week or next week. Uh, peace out. Yeah, yeah. So hard to go, yet I'm ready to die. Not B I T, not limited to the sky. If oh, the dogs tried to label me as a prince, we're a bitch that's covered in cheetah print. Definitely gonna be on plays of the week.